Hello, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my little corner here in Wheeling, West Virginia. It's Tuesday, July 23rd. How y'all are? This is my little weekend update thing, recap, and a little chat about the Secret Service <laughs> and their failure in their assigned duties. So let's first start off with the weekend. I didn't get to spend as much time out there as I had hoped. So I didn't get a whole lot done. Didn't get any videoing done particularly. Um, it's difficult to shoot video when you're doing stuff. Gary and I ran electric in the studio out there in the barn. And, you know, you set the camera up, you turn the camera on. Well, the first 30 minutes, 45 minutes, we're discussing different options that we have, where to put things, how to run things, you know, all boring crap. So by the time we actually get to work and doing stuff, the battery's dead or the card's full, you know, I mean, we go out and we go to work. So what I've got are a couple of clips of what we got accomplished. Uh, we worked on Alex's uh, house a little bit. Uh, Alex left after we got finished with his part and locked the door and took the key with him without leaving me one. So I can't show you what we did on the inside as far as all the layout and everything. But he did have these rickety blocks set up to step up in. It was hard to step up into that, that shed that we're going to build or the house we're going to build. So I had a pallet, a big four and a half by eight and a half foot pallet, solid pallet down in the barn that we took up there and leveled and then put steps on top of that to where now we can much more easily walk up in and out of the place. So I'll show you a clip of that, you know, what, that we got done. And uh, like a recap of what we did in the studio as far as all the electric running. It's kind of neat now because, you know, I'd said it in the video, but I would go in if I wanted to do a video in there. I'd have to find all the extension cords, plug lights in everywhere. Now I just flip a switch, all the lights are on. So that was an accomplishment. So I'm going to run those clips by you and hang around and we'll have our discussion. All right. So this is what we did in the studio today. Before I would do a video, I had cords running all over the place for the lights, for the LED lights up there in the top, for the different studio lights and sound. You know, everything is plugged in. But I had to plug in all these extension cords to make it all work. Well, now what we did was run a wire over from my service panel over there. You still see us. You see, I still got to get it all cleaned up and put back together. We ran a wire over, snuck it around. I have a receptacle up there that those lights in the ceiling plug into. And then I have a receptacle there that I've got my USB fan plugged in or my cordless fan. It's charging. And when I come in, instead of having to look for extension cords on the floor, all I have to do is hit a switch. See, watch that switch. Oh, everything lit up. You see that? Oh my goodness. Makes it a whole lot easier, folks, when I come in to do a video now. Much like my tool room, I just have to flip a switch and everything comes on. All of my chargers are working. See all that? All the pretty green lights. But for lighting the tool room, tool shack, all I need to flip it on. So that's the beauty of running power out to the barn. <laughs> anyway, and that I know you're going to ask about is the router for the wireless bridge that we're finally, I think next weekend, gonna to get to set it up. 
Uh, I figured out the best place to mount everything. And then the receiver end of that bridge will plug into this router. It's a whole lot easier to walk in and out of, out of Alex's house now, his tiny house. If he hadn't locked the door. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it made sense to you. Uh, had a live stream Saturday night. It was great as usual. I uh, love doing those live streams anymore. I mean, YouTube, there is no revenue anymore to be made on YouTube. So I do this for fun. Always have. Always will because it's fun. Uh, I like revenue, but <laughs> if you don't get it, you don't get it. Fun's just as good. Uh, so, yeah, that was my weekend out there. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on. I guess first I need to mention, you know, last week was pretty wild. And over the weekend was pretty wild. Uh, Joe Biden saying, uh, you know, he's not going to run for president for a second term. Which is no surprise, which really is a good thing. Uh, good for him and his health and the health of this nation. Not that it can be saved, in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's really tragic. This was once, 50 years ago, this was the greatest nation on earth, the most feared, the most respected, and the one that everybody came to to solve problems and fix things and figure things out and invent things and build things. We were it. And in 50 short years, we've become the laughing stock of the world. They are all standing around watching and laughing as the United States of America crumbles. And that's what we're doing. I don't think we can save it. I don't think it'll be brought back. Most empires last 250 years. We're going on 250 years. Maybe it's just, it was destiny. I don't know. But it's a shame it's happening and I don't know how to stop it. Vote Trump in, he can't stop it. He can delay it, but he can't stop it. Uh, so speaking of him, let's talk about the, uh, assassination attempt and the secret services ineptness when it comes to protecting him. They didn't do their job. All kinds of hearings about it and everything. The director, Kimberly Cheadle, by the way, who said she was not resigning, she, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, she re resigned this morning, uh, naturally. Whether she did it voluntarily or not, it's still <laughs> unknown, but she did resign. But one of the, one of the strange questions on Capitol Hill as uh, they were having the hearings and this is how this, this government works. That no matter what happens, they will bring race into it. Because that's one of the things that's killing this country is this dividing us. And at every opportunity, they try to drive that wedge in deeper, distract us from the real problems, and continue to make us all hate each other. That's the only way they can win. As long as we all hate each other. So at the hearing yesterday, a uh, Democratic senator from Texas, Jasmine Crockett, right? It's her turn to ask questions of Cheadle. So what does she ask? Is there any bias training? at the Secret Service Academy. Really? Bias training. <laughs> I just, I swear you can't make this stuff up. Right? So she goes on to say that in her vast experience as a civil rights attorney, and that doesn't throw up a red flag, I've never seen one, Right, she has observed that there is no perception of a threat 
if it's involving a young white male, even if he's carrying a long gun, there is no perceived threat from that. But it is well known that there is a perceived threat just by somebody having a little bit more melanin in their skin. So because he was a young white male with a gun, he was allowed to be on that roof, in other words. Had he been anything else, they would have killed him. That's according to Jasmine Crockett. That's what's happening to the state of Texas, a state that I dearly love. That's what's coming out of it now. I don't know how y'all let that happen down there. Y'all pissed me off in Texas for allowing that, by the way. But yeah, her experience, what is she, in her 30s maybe? But her vast experience, I mean, she may be old, I don't know. But as a civil rights attorney, I'm going to tell you the reason why the failures in the Secret Service. Like many other companies and government offices and businesses and universities, right? They have this thing called DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. So what's happening at the Secret Service Agency and many other places, right, is it doesn't matter who's the best qualified for a job. We have a chart that we have to fill that has a certain number of this race, a certain number of this gender, a certain number of this religion, a certain number of this. It's no longer who's the best candidate for the job. It's, okay, we have to fill this slot. So it doesn't matter this 20-year veteran, you know, from uh, the uh, SEALs wants to be a Secret Service. It doesn't matter if he doesn't fit a particular slot needed in that DEI. That's what happened. You've got so many people who are not qualified for jobs their only qualification is their gender or their, their race or their whatever, whatever preferences. Everything's got to be filled out now. So that's what caused the failure. It had nothing to do with anything else. You have people who in no way, shape, or form are qualified to do the job. But they met the criteria they needed. So, until that is fixed, until we get over this whole woke, this crazy shit, right, it's never going to be, it can never be fixed, right? Now, fortunately, companies and universities are getting wise to this, and they're dumping the whole DEI department stuff, you know, the, the, all, they're getting rid of all that shit. Even Microsoft laid off their whole... If Microsoft laying them off, you know that something's wrong with that idea. Uh, now we got to get it out of the government. But there are so many people that hold positions now that do not qualify for anything. They just happen to be right. The right color or the right gender. That's all it is. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Something to think about. I really want to hear what you guys think about it. Uh, are we on the right track with that process or not? This is Joe here in Wheeling. Remember to like, share, comment, ding the bell. Uh, help me come up with ideas. I need to set up memberships. Because you know what? That's YouTube is getting record profits. I mean, like $9 billion in the first quarter of this year. You know, Google's profits are wet soaring because of YouTube. 
but YouTube is paying less and less and less. So what YouTube is saying is, okay, we're not going to do the ad share much anymore. That's coming to an end. But you can make all this money by, in, you know, having your subscribers pay you. That's the whole deal with memberships and sponsorships. And you get your money somewhere else. Don't depend on YouTube for your money anymore. So that's that's where that's headed, you know. Uh, but yeah, I see it. I see it everywhere. Anyway, hope everybody has a wonderful week. Remember next Saturday, I hopefully I'll be out at the cabin and I'll get to do a live stream Saturday night. We might actually get to do some work inside Alex's cabin if he orders the lumber that he needs. We could actually shoot video. We already laid everything out, so there's not going to be the 30 minutes worth of discussions. Uh, we'll start framing the ceiling and the interior walls that he wants. So I'm still two or three weeks out on windows. Thank you, Menards. Uh, but we'll get started on some stuff. Remember, this is Joe here in Wheeling. I'm out.